Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the powerful tools we have on Inkscape. These are union, difference, intersection, exclusion, division, and uh, we have cut into part. So here, this this is some some kind of way to help you draw some of the unique shapes instead of using freehand tool. Freehand tool is sometimes uh, difficult to use. So let's say we have this uh, these two shapes together. Uh, let me just zoom a little bit and remove this one down like that. Probably I should reduce the size like that and zoom out. Then I can select the circle here and have this one drawn like that. Let me just click full circle on top there to have a full. This not as a this is an over. Sorry. So what I want to do is uh, I want to combine this shape together just to, then we have just one uniform shape. So here I select both of them and I say in there, I come here to path, then union. So this kind of form this, uh, this union. Before I do that, let me control Z. I just want to duplicate this. And let's put it here, put Put another duplication there, like that. Yeah, this one can be there. So let me do that again. You select both of them, then you come here to path, then union. So this is different from uh, from group, because here I can just hold the shift key and change the stroke color to to blue. You can see, but if I it is different from the from group in the sense that if I come here to object and group this together, one thing you have to notice that this one in this one is no longer an object but is now a part. Like if I just click, I can now manipulate the shape like this. While this one is still an object but it is now grouped together. So the difference is that I can still select individual object there and I can change the stroke color individually. But this one I can't, I can't, I cannot no longer do that. I can't do that any longer. So let me just ungroup this. Uh, Control Shift G. Control Shift G. So another thing we have here is uh, the difference. So difference is like the opposite of uh, union. Uh, this is how it works. I select that, then I click here the difference. So the difference is um, kind of take uh, the shape. So the, the, the object with the, its shape is being taken uh, or being uh, captured is uh, the one which is on the top layer. For example, if I do that, because the circle is the one which was on top, let me make it a little bit like this. And uh, I select like this and I do difference, you see? because the circle is the one which is on top. If I control Z and now bring this one on a top, top layer there, then now the shape which are, will be captured is now the shape of the rectangle there. Path. Then uh, we have a uh, difference. Kind of cool. Uh, another shape uh, we can work with is, uh, let me duplicate this again. Then I can select this one. This side. So the third one here is a uh, intersection. So intersection will now only capture the area which is being shared by these two two objects here. So the areas which the area which is shared by the two objects, that is the circle is taking a bit of it. Then if I bring the rectangle there, it's also. So I just select this one. And now you come to path, then intersection. So this is the shape which is being shared by the two objects. It's captured there. Uh, the fourth one is uh, exclusion. So exclusion is now the opposite of intersection. Instead of now re capturing the, the, the area which is uh, shared, it is now leaving out the area which is shared. Like, um, let me duplicate this because I'll need this shape again. Control D. Then I drag it here and I select this now. Come to path. 
then we have exclusion you can see what is happening so it just maintain uh, those the shape the outline but now the inside bit is uh, takes the shape of uh, of the area which is shared uh, the fifth one is uh, division so division I just want to use the same shape so that you notice the difference uh, do control D to duplicate so here we go to division so division also takes the precedent of levels there whatever object it is on top takes the takes the lead you can see now the the circle was on top now it goes away and it leaves a mark here just the shape of it inside here that is a division so if we change the orientation here let's say control z and bring the rectangle on top and perform the same operation again you will see the difference now you see exactly that is how it works so we have also another the last one called uh, cut to path this is somehow interesting i want to move this uh, like this so that you can see how what it really does there so we say it's path cut into path so it's it just what it does it just cuts uh, it cuts uh, this one this this uh, rectangular into parts and this is some some shape which you cannot uh, achieve by the normal freehand tool uh, for example you see now the 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 oval is the one on top so it is performing operation on the one which is uh, on the lower level and is going to cut this rectangle at these points here like that like that mm, let, let, let us do it again cut into part so here you can see now we have different parts here like that like that yeah so this one might seem simple but uh, there are some shapes that uh, you can't really get uh, pre precision through through freehand tool so you must use this shape to cut the path into a specific value or a specific uh, requirement to meet your needs uh, I can I will also suggest that uh, you can also find more on uh, help then you can go to tutorial so there is a lot of tutorials here you can go through uh, for during your free time and uh, on this whatever you are doing now is uh, on advance uh, yeah to just open that window there and you can see here we have uh, techniques and what is good with this uh, tutorial here it is is within the Inkscape canvas so you can just, just perform these operations here and uh, you can select both of them here like this you can come to path you can do union you can see what is happening so it's a, it's a good resource you can you can go through and uh, read through how this operation works uh, that is uh, for, for for this video so in case you have any question let me know on the on the description below and uh, also please do subscribe and uh, like my videos uh, see you on the next video really appreciate uh, you for, for watching this video and taking your time see you then thank you bye